So, let us solve one more problem. Find the lengths of subtangent and subnormal at a point on the curve y is equal to b of sin of x by a. So, here the y is a function of x, we can directly find out dy by dx by using differentiation. So, that means differentiate both sides with respect to x, directly we get dy by dx. So, let p x1 comma y1 be any point on the curve. So, at x1 comma y1 you find out dy by dx that is nothing but slope of the tangent m. So, having been actually evaluated the value of m, so that we can find out length of the subtangent as well as length of the subnormal using the formulae. That is all. This is the simple method has to be adopted. So, now let us solve the problem. given equation to the curve. Is y is equal to b sin of x by a, say this equation 1. Let p x 1 comma y 1 be any point, be any point on equation 1. So, that means this x1 comma y1 should satisfy the equation 1. So, we get y1 is equal to b of sin of x1 by a. So, y1 stands for b of sin of x1 by a. So, now let us find out slope of the tangent that is the value of m. So, now consider y equals to b times sin of x by a. Okay. Differentiate both sides with respect to x with respect to x. So, now dy by dx equal to here y is equal to b times sin of x by a means b is the constant and derivative of sin of x by a should be written here. So, b times d by dx of sin of x by a. So, that means what is the derivative of sin u? That is cos u du by dx. So, in the similar manner or similar pattern, the sin of x by a differentiation is cos of x by a multiplied by derivative of x by a. 1 by a is constant x differentiation 1. So, that means the sin of x by a differentiation becomes 1 by a times cos of x by a. Okay? So, let us perform the differentiation. b into derivative of sin is cos, cos of x by a. Again x by a differentiation is 1 by a into x differentiation that is 1. So, we get 1 by a. So, now it can be simplified. So, this is b into 1 by a is b by a cos of x by a. This is nothing but dy by dx. So, now the slope of the tangent, slope of the tangent, slope of the tangent is given by m that is dy by dx at p 
that means p x1 comma y1 so here in the place of x x1 right down so we get b by a cos of x1 by a so now with the help of this we can find out length of the subtangent and length of the subnormal these two we can find out With the help of these values, y1 is equal to b of sin of x1 by a, slope of the tangent m is equal to b by a cos of x1 by a, easily we can find out length of the subtangent and length of the subnormal. First let us find out length of the subtangent. So subtangent subtangent equals to modulus of y1 by m. This is nothing but formula. So now replace y1 for this value, m1 for this value. So this equal to modulus of b of sin of x1 by a by b by a cos of x1 by a just substitute so now it is to be simplified so we can simplify like this b stands for b by 1 multiplied by b by a is a by b okay now sin of x1 by a divided by cos of x1 by a nothing but tan of x1 by a. Am I correct? Now b, b gets cancelled, b1 ja b. So this equal to a times tan of x1 by a. This is the length of the subtangent. The one more value has to be evaluated that is nothing but subnormal. Okay? Subnormal equals to y1 into m. What does y1 stand for? Yes, y1 stand for b sin of x1 by a. Here what does m stand for? So, m stands for b by a cos of x1 by a. So, these two values we have to substitute in the formula. So, as to find out length of the subnormal. So, this equals to b sin of x1 by a multiplied with b by a cos of x1 by a. So, this equals to b into b b square by a sin of x1 by a. Okay multiplied by cos of x1 by a. So, if you want to simplify further also you can simplify. Multiply 2 divided by 2. This appears to be 2 sin theta cos theta. That can be written sin of 2 theta. Sin of 2 x1 by a into of that means b square by 2 a sin of 2 x1 by a also you can write it. But up to this step is enough no problem. So, in this way, we can find out length of the subtangent and subnormal for the given problem.